Hey, how's it going, Magician Faust here? Welcome back to part five of our Legend of Dragoon playthrough. Last time we left off, we made it through the Limestone Cave, got it, uh, excuse me, made it all the way to Indel's Castle, met King Albert, got a little bit of the backstory on the Dragon Campaign, and we are currently exploring the city of Bale. So we are going to finish doing that. Last time we had to cut it just a bit short on it because my laptop battery did get in, end up getting a little bit on the low side. Currently we're at the inn, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to the alley we left off at last time just so we can finish exploring the entire city. So we'll head back up this way. And we'll go back into the alleyway here. And we can start talking to these, uh, this kid here. When I grow up, I'll be a knight just like you, Sir Lavitz. How about that? Let me go talk to you back here. Sir Lavitz, you are safe. We were worried because we heard the first knight he was annihilated. We ended up rescuing him. Alright, here we have a library with a lot of stuff in it. So, talk to these individuals. Hmm, you must be equipped with weapons and protectors. I see. Can pop up this ladder here and make your way to the top. Uh, I don't think there's any. There's a how to be a knight. Power without rationality is the same as a naked sword. A good sword requires a matching sheath. Hmm, interesting. I think that's the only interactable thing up here, but it just loops around to the entrance way here. So we'll talk to you. The stone called Stardust believed to bring happiness to the person who collects it. And we were trying to collect all of it. There's a little dog creature here, Bow. So, I'm not sure if that's a dog, rabbit, or what it is. But, whatever. Hee <laughs> hee I am going to eat this tonight. I'm assuming you're looking at some recipes. Welcome. We have a big selection. Find what you like. Yep, and really an optional area. There's not really much here to do other than talk to some individuals and whatnot, but like I said, we're exploring the city, so we go around this way. It takes us back to the area we just came from, but just kind of loops around the outside here. I'm not sure. I can't remember who all we talked to. Oops. Bale has been central capital since the age of Serio. I believe we've talked to all these individuals. Yeah, I remember talking to you granddaughters on a mission in hoax, so... I believe that's everybody. If I miss someone, I apologize, but I don't want to waste time going to people that we've already talked to. So we will go back to this area here, and that we have time to explore, we can go in here. There's a couple individuals here. Every day is tense for us, as Dole broke the truce. Yep, I understand that. Talk to you. Give me a break, huh? What about it? It's about the war. The war! Alright. I don't think I can interact with anyone here. Master of the Bar Spirits? Yeah, I have good ones. 100, 100 gold per bottle, want it? Yes, we are actually going to buy that. We will need that for you know, shortly, but we just got good spirits. Right. There's nothing wrong really in here. This is just the inn. So if we wanted to, we could stay for 10 gold, but we're not going to do that. My child fell in the battle. My grandchild fell too. I have no more meaning in my life. Oh, poor guy. Really, I gotta have a drink. Well, there's, you can go buy some good spirits over there if you want to, buddy. Talk to this little girl here. Oh boy, Sir Lavitz, how have you been? Auntie was worried about you. Basil and Sandora, which were originally one country, Serdio, have been at war for 20 years. War? Don't worry about it. King Albert will take care of it. Might want to worry about it a little bit, just in case something happens. But now that we have the good spirits, we're actually going to go down here under the, uh, into the sewer. Make our way down here, and we talk to this guy here. Smells like spirits. 
and they're good ones. Oh, you're gonna give me spirits? Brother, y'all generous. Well, I will have it. So yeah, if you buy the spirits, this guy will walk out of the way and let you go through here. Mmm, I feel a warm glow through my whole body. Okay, homeless alcoholic in a PlayStation game. What else is there? But now we can make our way all the way through the sewer here. This way, and I don't think there's anything in this little crevice. Uh, no, it's over in this one. So that'll give us 20 gold. There's a little more, a little of our gold back that we spent getting those spirits. And there's nothing really over here, but it's a neat little uh, side view. You get to come through here and you can see Dart in just a second. You see me actually down here by the water. So I said nothing. Nothing over there, just a little added, you know, visual. But the whole point we came from is actually going this way. So if you remember from last episode, we actually spun that wheel in the top right corner to open these two doors. First we're going to make our way up this ladder. And this gets us into a secret chamber inside of the castle. It's just a little room with a chest, but, you know, 20 more gold just to help recover some of the gold we spent on those spirits. Nothing much, but, you know, it is what it is. But the real goal was that of coming here was actually to ride this boat. So I don't think there's anything interactable down here. So we'll just hop on this boat. And we get to enjoy a little, uh, not, cut, not quite a cutscene, but we get to see Dark kind of traverse through the waterways around the city. There's the castle, we get to see quite a bit of a really good view of the city. Luckily the game does have amazing graphics, so it's uh, actually something nice to look at. friend there. That's the sewer pathway we walked through earlier. This is where we actually want to get off the boat. Remember before from the last episode, this area we can't get to because that bucket of water on the outside is blocking our path and this door here is locked. You might be thinking, well, what's back here? Well, I'll be covered in cobweb, but I guess I'll take it out. It's just another Stardust. That's it. But if we want to complete the game and do the all the optional stuff, I and mean, then we're going to collect all of those, so even these obscure out of the way ones. Okay, let's turn on back around. And this will just take us back to where we got on the boat at. Another side view of the uh, castle balcony we were on earlier. Includes our voyage. Thanks for cruising with the SS. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, 
But we can head back out of the sewers now. Get all that for uh, one Stardust. Luckily, the majority of the Stardust are a lot easier. Well, not necessarily easier, but a lot quicker to get them going out all the way out like that to do that. So let's head back out here and we will head to the back part of the city. Back this way. And I don't think we've been in this shop yet. Alright. And if we want to, we can actually look at all kinds of stuff in here. I believe we can interact with some of this stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Look like it. Well, let's see what this item shop has for us. Bye. We have plenty of healing potions and angel's prayer. Uh, I don't really need any mind purifiers. Uh, we have some new attack items, though. So, we've got a sphere frost water attack now, we get, and an earth based meteor fall, which actually hits all enemies. So, I actually think I'm gonna buy probably. We'll do two and two. Is there anything we want to sell? Let me sell this detonate rock. That's actually a practically useless item. I don't know of a single use for it. It's a very weak attack item. Doesn't really do a lot. Uh, I mean, there must, there's some use for it that I'm not aware of. Is there a Stardust in here? I don't remember. Don't buy. Don't buy. I don't think there is a Stardust in here. I think the weapon shop was the only one that had Stardust. So we can head back this way. This is the last section of town here. And I know that there's a Stardust in the water well here, and the one of the human's barrels. Might end up having to use a guide to find all these. Because being based off of memory is not necessarily serving me too well here. So, I thought there was one of on these boxes out there, but we'll see. So, we'll go in here and then we'll talk to the people around the outside here. But we've got an individual here we can talk to. Stardust is also known as the Wishing Stone. As the name implies, it is believed to fulfill the wish of the person who gets it. Very cool stuff. We can interact with here. Well, good rule of thumb in this game if you've never played it before. Check the fireplaces and the wells. That is probably a really good spot to check for Stardust if you're not using a guide to try to find them. Lavitz's father, Servi, was a man of too much integrity. If he had recovered from the betrayal of a dear friend, he wouldn't be dead. Wow. This is Slambert Plaza. It's dedicated to the father of Lavitz, who was called the Lance of Slambert. Oh, cool. A little backstory on Lavitz's dad. Before Serdio split, there was a knight named Graham. I think he's still alive in Sandora. He was the best friend of Lavitz's father. I wonder why he went to Imperial Sandora. Hmm. Interesting. I swore there was Stardust out here on these minerals. But I guess there's not. I guess I'm uh, hallucinating things here. Oh well. Let's uh, head on in here, and this is actually Lavitz's house. So we're going to meet his mother. So we head on in. Mom, I'm home. Oh, Lavitz, it's Lavitz. I was worried because I didn't hear from you for a long time. Sandora's resistance was tougher than I thought. But don't worry, we defeated them. Your late father would be proud to hear that. Lavitz, what about Helena? Don't mention that to her. Sorry, but I don't want her to be worried. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, fine. 
I'm already happy just having you come home, but you brought a bride with you, my big baby. Mom, oh, she's not. But don't be shy. What's your name? Sh Shauna? Shauna. My son is a little awkward and stubborn, but he's a very sweet nature. Uh, let's see, we have to get an option here. Uh, I like to egg on. Good luck, Shauna. Do you mean it for real? D Dart! Don't be so silly. Mom, Shauna's Dart, sweetheart. What? Oh, please excuse me. But if you don't make it clear, it hurts her. I... I will say so from now on. Does it mean I'm your girlfriend? I said it because otherwise Lavitz will be in trouble. Lavitz, please find somebody like her so that I can hold my grandchild in my arms. You're not a child anymore. Yeah, I know, I know. And you'll stay here today, honey? Well, I was commanded to defend Hopes. So I have to leave as soon as... Oh well, I understand. But you can have at least lunch, can't you? It'll be ready soon, honey. I'll give you a hand. Oh, there's no need. But then again, maybe. My pleasure. Well, what can we do till lunch? And we get to a few options here. The lunch is not ready yet. What are we going to do? Shall we help them? Can you cook? Of course. Otherwise, I couldn't travel alone for five years. Hmm. What kind of dishes do you make? I can grill a thick piece of meat. It's the best. That's my kind of, my kind of meal right there. That's it. What more do you need? Let's leave the cooking to Shauna, Mom. Think so? But Shauna was always a bad cook. Better than you. Ouch. Okay, uh, we should practice with our swords. Hey, hey, hey. What, what's wrong? Are you gonna swing your sword around in my house? What's wrong with that? You have such a big house. It's not right. Just kidding. Tut. I heard that. What was that tut about? It's all in your head. Uh, why don't we take a nap? Hmm. What's wrong, Lavitz? Dart, act like a man. Lack of sleep is bad for our skin. Every young lady knows that. Okay. I'll be more serious. And our last option. Show me around your house. This is the first time I've been in such a huge house. Well, there is nothing interesting. We can at least kill some time. Walk around wherever you like. I'll tell you about it. So we can walk around here. Uh, this way is the kitchen and everything. This is a storage place. It seems to have more odds and ends than last time. Hmm. And in classic fashion, we are gonna try to rob the castle. So let's go ahead and rob Lavitz's house. Fire twenty gold. Not sure if it's actually, uh, what on earth is this for? Not sure if it's actually, uh, stealing if it's his house, though. Everything is covered by dust. So, nothing really else in here. I'll just go this way. As you can see, it's a kitchen. I don't want to disturb her cooking. Let's go to some other place. So we'll have to head in there a little bit later. A little dining area. We can head back this way. We'll Look in the living room area. So, fireplace, couch, I don't think there's anything interactable in here. Doesn't look like it, so we'll head upstairs. Right here. This is my room. There's a cut in the pillar. Are you swinging your sword or something? No, I was measuring my height. Davids was a kid once? What do you mean? Name Dart. Here. It was my parents' room. It's been my mom's room since my father passed away in the war. Interact with. So we'll head into here. 
This is the library. There are many books on strategy. Are you interested in that, Dart? It's my weak point. What are you doing? Oh, here. I'll show you my treasure. Treasure? Here's my treasure. Okay, it's the roof. Please take a look at it. Ah, it's a view of the castle. And look at that view right there. That, like I said, I, think I keep repeating myself. The graphics in this game are amazing. I see, it's a nice view of Indel's castle from here. This is what I saw every day when I was young. I grew up thinking, I'll be an admi admired knight, just like my father, and I'll protect this country. Your dream came true. Yes, but the reality was much harder than I imagined back then. I feel all the more strongly how great my father was. To protect this country, I would tear the flesh from my body. It's the same passion you have towards Shauna. I just can't hold back. Because you know the importance of Shauna's life, you can risk your own. You were not a foolish daredevil when you ventured into Helena. Sergio is covered in war clouds. Now, you are the only one who can protect Shauna. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Dart, Lavitz, the food is ready. Well, the princess needs us. Princess? She's like a baby sister to me. Hmm. Pretty sure she doesn't feel the same way about you, Dart. As always, your meals are delicious, Mom. It's such a nice thing to hear. But I'll be even happier if you settle down with a bride soon. Um, Dart, Shauna? We need to buy some things before we leave. Let's go. And actually, let's walk past her. Let's actually talk to her real quick, because there's a stuff here. Are you ready to leave? No, we are still not ready. We still have something to do. We're leaving soon, right? Why don't you go finish packing? But of course, you can stay here longer. Yeah. Ready to leave? Yes, we are ready. Yeah, everything is ready. Do you have medical herbs? Yeah, I do. Here, it's your favorite jerky. I made too much. Why don't you take some? It's okay. I have enough. How about this? My neighbor said she made too much too. Mom, everything is ready. Oh, wait. I forgot something. Give me luck, Mom. Oh, Lavitz. You've grown up while you were away. Honey, our son became a great knight. I'm going to leave soon, but I am a little bit tired. Say, why don't we stay here tonight? Great. Are the beds ready? Of course. I make your bed every day. I'll be upstairs. Why does she make the bed every day if nobody's here to use it? Hmm, interesting. Mom, I actually want to take your jerky with me. I knew it. Come here. Oh, Dart, Big Mama's boy. Or not Dart, I'm sorry. That was a misspoken there. Lavitz. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna get roasted in the comments for that. So. But now that we've done that, Sting the Knight actually gave us a full heal on our characters. So. Head back in here in the kitchen on one of the shelves. Oh, this is Stardust. All right. Lavitz, next time you come home, please stay longer. I want to have a meal together again. All right. Let's head on out. Uh, and a cool. interesting thing. We're actually going to head back up to the roof here. Well, on the 
roof and can actually head over to the right here. And we jump down. This is the barn next to the uh, next to their house. And we can work our way over here and it takes a little time. You gotta keep pressing the X button to not lose your balance and fall off. But slowly and surely we can make our way across. Growing up, one that always threw me off was this. Not this one, but this one here. It looks like you're already on the platform, but if you don't press it, you will still fall off. Doesn't make much sense to me, but you know, whatever. And there's a healing breeze. And we can hop down from there. Nothing else to do in here. Head out. And now, let's see, is there anything else? Do we have any money here, I believe? Yeah, we already talked to that guy. So now, what we will do is we will head on south and head towards the exit of town. Uh oh. What the? Hey, watch yourself. Are you blind or what? What do you mean? You're the one who bumped into me. Don't make up excuses. Behave like a man. Don't yell. It's true. Be quiet. The baby's crying. Oh, sorry. That was too loud. Oh, poor baby. She's scared, isn't she? Well, we gotta go, baby. There's no time to waste. Is that? I don't know. So what we can do, we can actually head back this way and now that that character's in town. I believe now she will appear in the house back here. So we go up into here. And now there she is. Well, well. You must be the man who bumped into me at the entrance of the town. Well, perhaps I was a little careless, so can we just forget about it? I was in a hurry because I had something to ask him about. Miss Martell came here to ask me about Stardust. Stardust? I heard something about it in the fairy tale. It said that if you collect them all, your wish comes true? It's not a fairy tale. I believe it's true, I need some. Hey, why don't you give me the Stardust to find some? Of course I didn't say for free. I'll give you something rare that I found on my journey in return. Some of them. What do you think? Not bad, huh? You don't have to, but if you happen to find some, remember me, will ya? Anything new since then? But this is the character we actually give our Stardust to, and as we, I don't, we, we do not have enough right now to get an item, but we can go ahead and hand in the ones we have. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I knew it, but how about you? And Dar will nod his head, saying we found some, and we've got seven to give her. Thanks. Thanks a million. Thanks in advance for the next time. For every uh, ten that we give her, we will get a new item. Like I said, there's 50 total in the game, so at 10 we get an item, 20, 30, 40, and at 50 we get the secret item allowing us to fight the optional boss at the end of the game. But there is nothing else to do in town here, so I'm going to make my way out of town. Alright. And what I'm actually going to do, there's actually a little uh, uh, Easter egg scene back in the starting town of Selly's. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head that way. But since I'm sure most of you don't need to watch me navigate through the limestone cave and all the way back through it, uh, I'm going to edit out the video so you don't have to watch a lot of backtracking. Okay, and we're back at Selly's. So we're 
gonna head in here. And last time we left here, we were going to rescue Shauna, but now we have her, and this is the first time we're able to go back before the or without the guards blocking us. Shauna. This is our first time seeing the village since it's been destroyed, so kind of a expected reaction. This is Selling's. After we finish this journey, let's come back. We will rebuild the village together. Yes. Explore the village now. It's, you know, not quite cleaned up from the last time, but you know, not a lot of corpses laying around anymore. Not only my house, but they took my dad. Where is Grandpa? Still just a sad scene. Talk to some of these guys. Shauna is alive. I won't cry because I know Daddy and Mommy are alive. Shauna. Nobody knows where the mayor and his wife went. Seems everybody was able to escape, and there were much fewer casualties than we expected. It is consolating. Master Tasman, he left on an ascetic journey to study swordsmanship. Yep, so like I said in uh, part one, he is no longer here. Sh Shauna, I, I will find the mayor, your parents for you. Yeah, the mayor is actually Shauna's dad, or uh, yeah, the mayor's uh, wife. Shauna's parents is what I'm trying to say, the mayor is. So, uh, that's really all there is to say about this um just some dialogue that a lot of people never got to see playing through the game because you know why would you come back here unless you were you know required to by the story it is a little bit out of the way but yeah i just wanted to make sure i include that before we head to hoax so i am going to go ahead and wrap up this video i will make my way back to the entrance of hoax or the exit of Vale, wherever over there just past the limestone cave and we'll pick up that part in the next video. So I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I'm having a blast making these videos. Want to make sure that you guys enjoy it as well. If you have any comments or concerns or any advice for me, leave it down in the comment section. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great day.